Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Sorry, this one's a bit short. I'm editing this in the hotel and it's really late and I just kind of want to go to bed. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one and I will see you in a moment. Oh, Lemon Z! There's two options in this game. One of them is to be a saint and the other one is to be an absolute villain. And that's it. Those are the only options. I'm bored now. I want to go away. I want to go elsewhere. <laughs> she is too good. Oh, hey. Uh, see? What are you doing here? Put the bandit or I'm here to rob this place. Sit down and shut up and you won't get hurt. What are you doing here? Are you in some sort of trouble? Oh, I did it. Tolbada bunk while ya gando the nago chuchut, kachi chu aitha haudunga. You malith kakum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu aitha haudunga. Tolbada bunk kachi chu aitha haudunga. In king ku. Ooh, nice. I, there's a way I can help you, or time for me to collect your bounty. We itha nadana itya. Um, uh, maybe you could fake your own death. Oh, doll. I can help you out. Kachichu, <laughs> Okay, I might not actually be able to help you, but I have it on my quest log, so... Don't mind me. Computer spike! Da -da -da. Is this the way out? Alright, the canteen is somewhere in this hallway, right? Yep. Okay. Whoop, look at it. Yep. I think it's 2,000 years before the films. I believe. If I'm remembering that correctly. Hold on, while I demolish this piece of pizza. Mm -hmm. There you are. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base. And right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. A long, long time before ago. <laughs> You're right. Jar Jar is not alive. Thank goodness. Um. Okay, let's do it. Alex always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race. Mention that you're interested. In <laughs> it was just pepperoni pizza, Roma. I'm a simple person. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? 
Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? Ooh. I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock. Interesting. Right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Oh, it's so I'm cold. We do nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Yay! Oh, wow. Generous minor wounds. Okay. Um, add and uh, add you. Wait. Oh, they're both soldiers. So if I had to fight, that'd probably be a bad idea. But it would be interesting. Mm. Nah. It's fine. It's fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is cool looking. Look like a geth. Oh, hello, red man. Oh, wait. You're not a red guy, just your armor. Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping. Oh! Us. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malik. But there are billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians. Not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. They don't have, like, a Death Star or anything. They're just literally gonna bombard the planet with their fleet until it blows up. I think I'd rather die from, like, the Death Star. So, Candorous, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorous. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorous has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive. As was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Uh, I didn't know you were a Swoop fan. <laughs> Casual fan at best, but everyone on Taurus follows the big season opener. But we have more important issues to discuss now. With the recommendation from Candrus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your friend trees me, Davik. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is, the Ebon Hawk. My She's really terrible looking. The rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed. <laughs> Note the state-of-the-art security system. completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebon Hawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course. He's a very genial old man. The Sith departure codes, so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. <laughs> He's 
It's just letting me know how everything goes. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. Okay. If all goes well with your background check. Thanks. You I'll go free them. The exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. I'm looking forward to working with you, Davik. Stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to yep. visit the okay. slave quarters at any time. You've already said stay. that. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callum. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Evan Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. I just want to get off this planet. And then maybe I'll have to call it, but, but I would like to at least leave the planet. Despite its impending doom. Whoa, I hit like a keyboard or something. Just gonna make everybody uh, sick. Here. Yeah. Okay, you know what, buddy? We're gonna level, we're just gonna auto level you up. You, you too. Save, you're right. Ah. Uh, we're in. Why am I missing some health? What the heck? Okay, so now what? We gotta find... Okay, so we're gonna explore... The guest room, I guess. The guest area. Alright, well there's a door. Whoop. He just lets me carry around weapons. It's fine, I'm just carrying around weapons. Oh, he did say that the slave area was down the hall. Maybe we should go talk to them. Did he have a throne? Guy, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here or not, but here I am. I'm just running around. I don't know where to go. We, we He literally has a throne room. It's fine. Oh, hi. Of course you're all like, Sexy ladies. It's ever you. Welcome to the slave quarters, mistress. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate. As well, would you like a relaxing massage, mistress? What? Uh, mm, need some information? But what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room. Really? Torture and death. Um, okay, tell me what I want to know, not to Davik, how pleased I was with your performance. Praise from the guests is a valuable commodity here. Davik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Ebon Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. Oh boy. Where is that? I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. I'll be going. Return whenever you wish to partake. I'm of sorry, warrior. you're stuck here. We exist only to serve. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? No, not From Terrace. What I hear, well, that's all I can. You got it. I meant this place we're in, but. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, what do you want? What any of your stories? You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? 
Sure. I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Is that why the Mandalorians attacked the Republic? The Sith came to us with an offer. To fight a worthy enemy in a battle that would be remembered forever. Win or lose, as long as the fight is worthy, then honor is gained. The glory of having triumph over impossible odds is what drives us. Like the so entire, stake. like, your possessions, your life, nationality? Then the battle's meaningless. We Mandalore take everything we are and throw it into battle. It's the true test of yourself. The battle against death. Against... That way you work as a mercenary. Oh wait, uh, you seek death? All life dies eventually. A true warrior is one who can beat it down whenever it raises its head. But times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose, and we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious. No, attacks. not really. When I think of the battles I fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Wowza, okay. He's like, no, I tried to click on him again and he's like, no. Wowza. Uh, do you ever eat sour wheat? Okay, so just straight across. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. I should have saved. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> I got you before your shield went up, but you still put your shield up. Maybe I should switch my weapons. We're just all standing here with our guns staring at each other. It's French chocolate and a bit of baguette. Computer pass card. Should have saved sooner. <laughs> Here. Should have saved. Save sooner. <laughs> okay, it's probably this door. On it. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal Dang guest it. of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. Uh, Davik wanted me to make sure you didn't need anything. Well, I suppose yes! I forgive the intrusion in this case. Tell Davik I admire a host who has his underlings check up on the well-being and comfort of his guests. I don't require anything right Aww, now. Aw, cute kitty! You tell Davik Everything about my stay has been most pleasing so far. Here's a five credit chip for your trouble, sir. Thank you, sir. Now scurry on back to Davik. If scurry I find back. need of anything, I'll buzz you. Until then, I expect you to respect my privacy. Sure thing, buddy. I'm not gonna bother you. No problemo. Whoop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm dodging. I'm doing a mad dodge. 
Dodge is all over the place. Look at, look at Karth over there, dual wielding. Could you just get any more ridiculous? And with that cliffhanger, I will leave you all there, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.